Het is heel erg wat we meemaken. Daar moeten we op terugkomen. Want de, de mensen die ons dit aandoen in Nederland, ja. dat is ons gezag, die beseffen waarschijnlijk niet wat ze doen. Maar het is heel belangrijk om te zien dat wat we meemaken is een gevolg van een overname van technocratische tirannie. Technology and cybersecurity are of crucial importance in this COVID era. En we hebben al voldoende gezegd hoe het komt en wie er allemaal achter zit en hoe dat zou kunnen, hoe dat zou kunnen komen. Het is niet iets mysterieus. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack. Which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. We are in the midst of what appears to be a colossal and history making blackout. The COVID 19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. Ineens was er chaos. Verkeerslichten vielen uit, treinen konden niet meer rijden en veel pinautomaten deden het niet. Nederland werd vanmorgen getroffen door een van de grootste stroomstoringen ooit. Een driepuriek eind voor wie ik 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 kan niet begrijpen hoe mensen met meer verstand dan ik, mensen met meer talenten dan ik, hier achteraan lopen en hier niks tegen doen, niks tegen zeggen. We have to ask ourselves in such a situation, how could we let this happen? Hoe gaan we het veranderen? Massale burgerongehoorzaamheid is de enige manier. Do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, Tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel? Who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder? Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world. That will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Always. There will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral 
to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.